So we're sitting here in the middle of the desert and I bought this flare espresso machine, uh, non-electric, 100% manual for this very day right here so that I could enjoy an espresso here with you uh, with no electricity. We're 100 miles from a city in the middle of nowhere. There's never been running water or electricity in this place in the history of mankind. And yet this is where I wanted to have this coffee with you. So I got this flare espresso machine uh, it easily disassembles and goes all inside of this box. The, the lever action, espresso maker. The brew chamber is here for the hot water. It holds the exact amount for a perfect double espresso. Inside here is essentially the pod. And this is where the coffee grounds are dumped, later tamped with the tamper there. And then a diffuser, you place it on top drop it into the machine, put the brew chamber on top, take your heated hot water, pour it into the brew chamber, and then you have the, the pressure gauge that comes with this. And the awesome thing about this is that it measures the bars equivalent to any professional espresso machine. And it has the sweet spot of the five to 10 bars marked on there and literally you can put this in and pull your lever action down and get the five to ten bars taking about 20 seconds to brew a two to four ounce espresso with the perfect grind i mean it is just a spectacular cup of coffee i'm just gonna do this not officially in any capacity i'm just doing it because i love it and i want you to see it so while the water is heating i'm gonna go ahead and grind uh, my coffee, get it ready. And this takes a few minutes. You can hang with us or, or uh, go do something real quick for a minute and come back and we'll still be grinding and the water will still be heating. I know this is just slightly more exciting than watching grass grow, but hey, it's coffee, it's worth it. You will love it. Aonula, I got cane, torte, humba, mbe cafe glan. Uh huh. We're getting a small audience, always happens in a village. Curiosity of all ages. Uh -huh. oh, well. Oh, I, 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 so now I'm going to, there's no electricity. So what I'm doing is preheating the, the uh, chamber, the pod, if you will, so that, or the chamber for the water, I should say, because there's no electricity and you will lose a lot of the heat of the coffee right here heating up this thing if I don't preheat it. So I'm preheating it. And it's 100 degrees out here. <clears throat> it, I tell people it can be 100 degrees here every single day of the year. So it's 100 degrees. So this thing right now doesn't need a lot of preheating. It's already 100 degrees hot or hotter actually. But I'm gonna pour a little bit of water on it anyway just to preheat everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we take our ground coffee and we're going to pour it into our pod. That's good. Camper. Get the funnel off. Tamp it down good. Good firm tamp. Put in the water mm. disperser. And now this is plenty hot. I'm going to dump the water out. 
<laughs> and put our chamber on well. and pour the water in. Here's my towel. This thing is very hot. Okay. Pre soak just for a second while I find my pressure gauge. And this thing even measures the bars that it's brewed at. This little gauge is so awesome. Uh, and if the grind is right, if the if the amount of coffee is right, if the uh, camp is right, this should take about 20 seconds to come through at five to 10 bars. And it does take pressure, it's not easy. And it is coming through perfectly. I hope you can see that. It's a little hard at this angle, it'd be easier on a tabletop. I can't quite put the leverage on it that I want. I'm afraid it would tip if I did. It's going to take a few seconds longer. I just don't have the angle to put the pressure on it. But I can tell you, it's putting a nice cram on top of that. Might have taken a few seconds more than 20 seconds, but that is a fine looking cup of espresso. And my cup from Istanbul will work. <laughs> excellent. I just got to tell you, it is just flat excellent. And I'm not just saying that because I'm out here enjoying a cup of espresso. This cup would go anywhere in the world against, and I dare say, nearly any machine I've ever had one from. This is that good. Mm. Thanks for watching. Off the grid. Coffee. West Africa. Espresso in the desert. I love it. Thanks.